Hey, good morning, good morning. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know who back, 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 back. With another video, I think y'all for picking it with your boy Q today. Guys, today is the day, man. We are getting need 24 by 14 mounted on the truck today. It will be going on the Nitto Ridge Grapplers 37s. So it's gonna be a pretty big setup, man. If y'all see the current setup out here right now, I'm on 37s, 13.5s, 24 by 12s. So today we're going 24 by 14. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I ain't gonna cap with y'all, bro. Cause on my 12 wise, I have been rubbing a little bit since the shop did the work on the truck. They didn't put some of the plastics back flush. I'm a little worried about stretching. I will be stretching a little bit. And I'm a little worried just about how much of a unpractical the 14 wides will be. Like, well, I'm gonna deal with a lot of rubbing. Can I still fit in a lot of places? I'm a little nervous, I'm real. Cause my 12 wides are very, very practical, bro. Like super practical. I can basically take this truck most places. I think the biggest pain now is me getting these loaded up, bro. I do not want to load these up. Hopefully, I got enough space to fit all four of these boxes and these tires. Let's get to it, man, because we got like a 40-minute drive, too, so. Day, bro <laughs> tell y'all this why you make sure you hit the gym man so you never know you have to use some of that strength and endurance to do some stuff like daily activity stuff anyway got loaded up let's head over to the shop all right guys so we made it i'm at auto choice and uh garland i believe texas i just want to give y'all one more look at red before the 14 wise go on to see a difference Y'all can see right there, she's still looking good. That tin is dark, but she looks good, man. All right, guys, so he got the wheel on there now on the battle sheet. I've never seen how none of this works before, so it's cool that Juan is letting me watch this. So y'all definitely go check him out. Juan, hit him up. You looking to get your wheels balanced over here at uh, Auto Choice and Garland, bro. But we got the wheels out, you can see here. So yeah, this first time I'm getting to watch this stuff. I'm pretty pretty excited to see it, honestly. All right, this is the tire sensor. Yeah. That's how I go on there. <laughs> okay. And what's this right here, man? Water, like water? Lube. Lube. <laughs> yeah, the tire, that way the tire ain't Got you. A little lube, get it started. <laughs> Dang, dude, this is some manual labor, bro. Sheesh. Guys, that's a lot of work, bro. Like, I'm telling you, man, you got to be strong to do this stuff, bro. Yeah, because the tires are longer, heavy, then you put the wheel in the tire in that joint. <laughs> Yo, that's dope, bro. <laughs> I was wondering what you was lighting back here. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, that's why I won't be in a... Yeah. It's not stretching too bad, though. Nah, nah, because it's a 13 and a half. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot worse, guys. So I'm good. I can come up to it, huh? Yeah. It's not stretching. Uh, actually, I might be straight, man. I thought it was going to be stretching a lot worse than that, bro. It looks, it looks pretty good. He said he's going to, he mounts all four, and then he's going to balance at the end, so... Y'all saw one time, you just repeat the process and then you go to the balance. A few moments later. Juan got all the tires mounted. Now about to get it to balance them out. And he was just telling me, on these center caps right here, there's three actual screws that hold this together that come out. Not all of these come off, I didn't know that. I'm talking about these little black rivets. Only three of them actually hold this together. So you gotta take this off before you can balance the tire. While I was talking about stretching, it's not bad, but you see how the wheel has like that, that bubble look to it? See, like a little bubble. Because that's what you get when you run a tire that is smaller than the wheel. Now, my Recon grapplers on my 12 wide, you can see here, it's a little more straight up and down look. 
straight down. It's not rounding out. So anyway, it's not a bad thing, just but it's just something to notice when you're going like a, a 13.5 on a 14 wide. So ideally, if you don't want to worry about stretching, you would do like a 14.5 on a 14 wide or 15 wide, 15 wide tire on the 14 wide wheel. So now you about to balance the joint. So what's that right there, like a weight, I'm guessing? Nah, this, so this yeah. uh, goes on the center of the wheel. Okay. It has to be the right size. Oh, okay. So that it basically, once I, once I poke it on there, yeah. it, it, it goes on there the right way. Gotcha. So does it tell you like how many beads or ounces you need or something? Yeah. Oh, so that's what it is? Ounces. So you need four ounces. Gotcha, to balance it out. And does it tell you where to put them to? Is that what the green yeah. marker's for that's right there? The, yeah, that's what the, the laser Oh, they got a laser right there. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Yeah. Just put the beads on there, it's right there. So how much is it per, per row or stick? Each one is a quarter ounce. A quarter ounce for each so one. So one full row is three ounces. You'd be surprised, this is, this is a little bit for a 37. Oh, really? I've had wheels that ask me for 10 ounces. <laughs> Literally. Dang. Man, that'd be, yeah, it'd be going like all the way around, man. Well, it, it, it'll ask it, it, it'll ask for it in different, different spots. It'll ask for a different weight. It would say four ounces here, and then yeah. it'll say another measurement here, and then I can just toggle it back to this one uh, to where it needs to go. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, 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 it's Pretty good. So is that speaking to the tire that's a good tire or like yeah, or wheel? The combination. The combination? Because so, gotcha. if you got a cheap tire and a cheap wheel. Yeah. You go get to that 10 ounce. You get a lot of a, a lot, lot of bees. Stuff, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I think freaking huge, bro. Oh, she gonna be stupid there. <laughs> So I was just talking to one, so we balancing the second tire, and I asked him, like, do each tire take the same amount of bees? He was like, no. And actually, in this machine here, it tells you, like, where you need to mount the bees. So this one needs five ounces. The last one was four. The last one, he put it right here, but this one needs to go inside. I didn't, I didn't know that each tire may require a different amount of balancing, different amount of bees. You would think same tire, same wheel, same balance, right? Same amount of bees, but... Not bees, weights. I keep saying bees. I mean weights, guys, weights. Got the last one on here now. It's running, doing its thing. So we got a winner, guys. So this one actually only needs 2.75. So it actually needs the least at all of these. So two, three, four, five. These American forces right here are going on this dually outside. Look at them. Ooh, wee. So it's a 10 lug. So they said they had to run a, a eight lug adapter on there because those are 10 lug wheels. And I'll show you how the truck they're going on. There it is right there. So it's gonna be going on that thing. Ben, bro, the price of those wheels, he said for a set of six, that's a dually, $9,600 just for the wheels, no tires, which is crazy how much the wheel costs. But if you're smart, and I'm pretty sure this gentleman is who owns this company right here, that is a business write-off as an expense for your business, bro. So all you gotta be smart, man. It's crazy. So you get to ride around looking good, uh, promoting your business, and the business write-off. It's expense. That's so we're about to get the tires mounted now. I need to get some of these for the house, bro. Them stands, just put it on the rear diff right there, then you put the same thing on the front. There it goes. A few moments later. So we gotta mount it, uh, but she is rubbing a little bit back here on the plastics, as you can see back there. So. Yeah, she's gonna rub a little bit. I think I'm at full turn, but she's not rubbing on the front, which is good. On the other side over there, they're gonna try to push some of that plastic back, because it was pushed back, but it came undone. I can show y'all here really quick. Right here is where I've been rubbing on lately. This was pushed back, but it came undone somehow, so I'm gonna try to put it back like that. Maybe that would be something to rub. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Sheesh. look like now i just wanted to show y'all really quick before i drove off we didn't do any trimming we left how it is i'm probably gonna be catching a little bit at full lock but it's okay you know that's kind of come with it damn that diesel sound good Ooh -hoo -hoo. sheesh but here's the truck man here she looks on 24 by 14 bro like honestly i think it would have been more of a while for me if i had a brand new wheel it's the same wheel so it's, it's kind of like if you don't really know you won't know but here's the front stance you know She's a little wider for sure. Honestly, it's not it's not like a from here, it's a crazy drastic difference. But not too too bad. A lot of people probably won't notice, to be honest with you, unless you just know. The deep lip now looks really good. Got that good hollow look to the side. Wheels are stretching a little bit, you know, got a little bubble, but it is what it is, man. She looks good, bro. I'm super happy with it. That's how she's sitting right now, man. Got the old wheels in the back. I might just keep those for a spare, I'm not sure yet, but this is how she's looking now. She look good, bro. Yes, sir. That 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 do change. That thick lip changes the truck, bro. Ooh, this angle right here, she said nasty. Ooh, that little spot. All right, guys. So we got the 24 by 14 zone, man. Again, shout out to one at Auto Choice and Garland, bro. Appreciate you, bro, for letting me film all that. For one, that was pretty dope for allowing me to do that. I really, really appreciate that, allowing that to share that with y'all. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram, bro, uh, for allowing y'all to see that, man. If you need your wheels and tires or lift kits done, balanced, anything like that, bro, Auto Choice and Garland, ask for one, tell them Q sent you, get it taken care of. What Juan said, he was like, only time you're gonna really get rubbing probably is like full, full lock. He's like, that's the only time it was really touching, like you're trying to bust like a U-turn, you might rub a little bit. You know, the thing running these setup and tires, you just really, can't really pop full u-turns anyway so it's just kind of something to keep in mind about to take a turn right here um coming up let's see how much we can really turn i guess the, the tight the, the main thing is going to be like taking like tight tight turn turns, right on north know? garland right, here we go this is just me normally how we turn yeah that's just normal and there's no rubbing bro so i ain't gonna lie i was really worried about driving it like trying to make sure i stay in the lane but yeah, it, it's not bad. It's, it's 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 not bad at all. It's it's about the same, bro. I was tripping. Like I was so nervous about this whole thing. <laughs> Got the truck home. Here's what she looked like. Show y'all from the front again. Definitely much wider for sure. Things look freaking menacing now. Oh my gosh, she is wide. That was right on time. Car came. I beat him. This is what she looks like now. She is pretty wide. I'm not gonna lie. Like crazy wide. But it looks good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 